Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to section 7.7, .7, Base E and Natural Logarithms. A natural logarithm is a logarithm with base E. This E is also known as Euler's number or the natural base, um, written ln of x. Also, ln x, so there is no base to this ln, yes it is an ln x, is the same thing as log with a base E. See this log base E right there, x. So this and this are the exact same thing. Natural base, or Euler's number, is an irrational number approximately equal to, and this number keeps on going like the square root of 2 and pi. All right? This number is a lot like pi. First thing we're asked to do is write each, each exponential equation in logarithmic form. So first thing we're going to do here, logarithmic form, is we're going to take the natural log of both sides. So I'm going to take the ln of e to the x, and that's going to equal the natural log, ln, of 23. Now we want to write it in exponential form, so we want to keep our natural logs in there. But what this does, this natural log works the same thing as a normal log would. Where does this exponent go? This exponent moves in front. So now it's going to be x times the natural log of e equals the natural log of 23. Now what happens though is this natural log and e have something in common. The natural log of e turns into 1. And so then we have x times 1 equals the natural log of 23 or just x equals the natural log of 23. Number 2, let's try it again. Very first thing when we try to put in log form is to take the log of both sides. So it's ln of e to the fourth equals ln x. Where does this 4 go as an exponent? It's going to come in front of the log. So it's going to be 4 times the natural log of e. That equals ln of x. The natural log of e, please remember, ladies and gentlemen, that turns into a 1. And then it's going to be 1 times 4. That equals the natural log of x. And so the natural log of x is equal to 4 for our final answer. Now we're going to go the other way. Now we're going to write each logarithmic equation in exponential form. So when we go this way, what we have to do now is to change this natural log. If you look back and your first vocab word, this natural log can be written as the log of base E. That is a base E, x and then is very close to 1.2528. So since this E now is a base, what can we do with it? We can swing it over and bump that up. So it's going to be E to the 1.2528. And what's that equal? When we sw swing it over, that leaves the X all by itself. So it's equal to X for our final answer. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, this ln is the same thing. This ln is the same thing as log, and I'm going to try to do a better job, base e. Log base e of 25 equals x. How do you get a log away from there? It's just a normal log. You swing over the e, bump up the x. So e to the x equals 25. Can't go any farther than uh, than this. And so our E is in both equations when writing it in exponential form. Next, we are going to be asked to write each expression as a single logarithm, big key, single logarithm. We can use the properties of normal logarithms with natural logarithms and they work the same exact way. So on number five, we want to write this as a single logarithm. We only want to have one natural log in the problem first property we're going to use is the power property. Notice how with the p in front here, you can write this p in the back of the m. So now I'm going to take this 6 and put it as an exponent to the 8. So I'm going to have the natural log of 8, and then that's going to be to the 6 power. And then it's going to be minus the natural log of 4 to the second power. Now, before I use the minus sign, right, the minus sign tells me I have to divide, but before I go there, 
I notice that I can write this 8 and this 4 as the same base, all right? The same base, so it's going to be the natural log. And then that 8 turns into 2 to the 3rd. And you'll see where I'm going with this in a little bit. To the 6th. And then we have minus the natural log. And how does that 4 write as a base of 2? It's going to be 2 squared. And then to the 2nd. Now, what do we have to do with these two powers? We have to multiply them because a power to a power we multiply. So it's going to be the natural log of 2 to the 18th minus the natural log of 2 to the 2 to the 4th. Now, this minus tells us that we have to divide. So I'm going to have my 1 natural log. So that means we're getting closer. And it's going to be 2 to the 18th. And that's going to go over 2 to the 4th. Continuing with my 1 natural log. What do we have to do with our exponents when we divide? It's going to be the natural log of 2 to the 14th. Now, going back to the power property, what do we have to do with this 14? The 14 can go back in front. So for our final answer, it's going to be 14 times the natural log of 2 for our final answer. Now is 6. Let's apply, apply the power property first. right? I can might write this 2 and put it in the back of there. Is there any other exponents that I can move? No, there isn't. So I have the natural log of 3 squared plus the natural log of 4 plus the natural log of y. With a plus in between, what's it tell us? We can multiply them all together. So it's a natural log of 3 squared times 4 times y. That 3 squared turns into a 9, so it's a natural log of 9 times 4 times y. Combine everything, so we have the natural log of 36y. With one natural log, 36y, for our final answer. 7. Now we're going to solve each equation or inequality and round to the nearest 10,000. So a 7. When we ever see an E, we have to get that E by itself. First thing we have to do is subtract over the 4. So it's going to be 3e to the negative 2x equals 6. That E still is not by itself. We have to divide by 3. So we divide by 3 to get E to the negative 2x equals 2. Now, how do we get rid of this E? We have to take the natural log of both sides. So I'm going to take the natural log of e to the negative 2x. And what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So I'm going to take the natural log of 2. Now, with this, remember, it's the power property. So I'm going to bring this 2x down in front. So it's going to be negative 2x times the natural log of e and then just times or equals the natural log of 2. Natural log of e turns into a big fat 1. So negative 2x is just going to stay negative 2x equals 0 0.6931 when you punch the natural log of e, or sorry, the natural log of 2. The button on your calculator looks like this, ln of 2. So hit 2ln or ln2, depending on your calculator, dividing by 2. X equals a negative now, 0.3466 for our final answer. Number eight, same situation. Get the 5X by itself, or get the natural log by itself first, so we have to divide by two. So we divide by two to get the natural log of 5X equals three. Now a little bit tricky here. Now we're gonna put an E on both sides. When we do that, we put an E on both sides now the exponent of ln 5x, all right, this is an exponent, that's going to equal, again, what you do on one side, you have to do the other side, so little e to the third. Now what happens when we have e to the ln, that just turns into 1 and we get to bring the 5x down. So we just bring that 5x down, that still equals e to the third. e to the third is 20.5. 0855 equals 
5x, we can divide by 5, and so x equals 4.0171. Now we are going to be looking at an inequality. We treat the inequality the same way we do as equations, but now with this natural log sitting here, when we have a natural log here, we have to take everything to the e. So I'm going to put down my e. Now this all becomes an exponent, the natural log of 3x plus 1, that being squared, becomes an exponent greater than what you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So it's going to be e to the 8th. Now, something special happens here, that E and the LN will cancel each other out, and now you can just bring down the 3x plus 1, and that is still being squared. However, over here, though, you still have E to the 8th. How do you get rid of that square? You have to square root both sides. So we square root both sides to get 3x plus 1, all by itself, that's 3x plus 1 all by itself, greater than, now the square root of e to the 8th is e to the 4th. If you punch that in, there's an e on your calculator, it's probably the second natural log. If you punch that in, you can get 3x plus 1 is greater than 54.5982. Now we just solve for x. Yes, it's a big long decimal number, but we just solve for x by subtracting 1, so 3x is greater than 53.5982. What do we have to do? We have to divide by 3, so x is greater than 17.8661 for your answer. Here to set up number 10, with just the natural log, we have to take that to the e, so it's going to be e to the natural log of 2x minus 3. That's going to be cubed greater than e to the sixth. The natural log and the e cancel out each other, so it's going to be 2x minus 3 to the third now, and greater than e to the sixth. How do we get rid of that cube? We have to cube root both sides, so we cube root both sides. Now here's the tricky part, because it's 2x minus 3, and that's going to be greater than e to the second, because that 3 divides in there two times, and then you can handle it from there. Next, we have the compound interest formula, which A equals P, and that E, ladies and gentlemen, is Euler's number, that E's that we've been working with, to the exponent of R times T, where your P is the initial investment, T is the number of years, and R is the annual rent interest rate. So first thing we have to find out, what is our principal? Well, we deposit 700 bucks into an account, so 700 bucks is the principal. We'll be paying at 3%. Please know that that 3% is 0 .03, and T is time, which is 8 years. So you just plug that right in for all your uh, variables. So we have 700, and then it's E to the 0 .03 times 8. We keep rocking with it. We simplify it a little bit. 700 e to the 0.24. Now that e to the 0.24, if you plug it into your calculator, 700 times turns into 1.2712. Plugging this in your calculator, we get a dollar amount of $889.87. Eighty-seven cents for our final answer. Now we are going to be asked how long will it take the account to reach at least twelve hundred dollars. So when we set this up, we are looking for twelve hundred dollars is at least, and then seven hundred is what we started with, e to our percent, which is three, but we write it point zero three, and we're looking for t. So how do we solve this? Divide by seven hundred. So it is going to be one point seven one four three is less than e to the point zero three t. We take the natural log of both sides, so it's a natural log of 1.7143, and when we take that natural log, it's going to be 0.03t all by itself, then the natural log of e. Natural log of e turns into 1, so it's 0 0.5390 less than 0.03t, divide by 0.03t to get 17.9. 
is less than t, which gives us 18 years. And that's it for section 7.7. .7. Good day.